This story is about a dream that I'll never forget. From an evolutionary perspective, sleep is the most idiotic of all human behaviors. When we're asleep, we're not finding a mate, we're not reproducing, we're not foraging for food, we're not caring for our young, and worst of all, we're vulnerable to predation. Mother Nature has not made a spectacular blunder with this thing called sleep. Sleep is restorative. It restores our ability to be able to think and to function. Good sleep to me is about two cues, the quantity of sleep and the quality of sleep. Sleep will restock the weaponry in your immune arsenal. Sleep will strengthen individual memories and sleep helps reduce your overall levels of anxiety. And finally, we've started to discover a new function of sleep for the brain that helps de-risk the chances of Alzheimer's disease. So in other words, sleep is a power cleanse for your brain. Sleep is essential, just like drinking and eating and of course getting good exercise because when you don't get good sleep, the quantity, the quality, every single organ in your body is gonna be affected. Sleep is really divided into two broad stages, non-REM and REM. This stands for rapid eye movement. Non-REM has three sub-stages, N1, N2, and N3. Then you cycle into REM sleep. And REM, wow, I gotta tell you, magical things also happen in REM sleep. All of a sudden, life is like a movie theater. All of a sudden, you can't move because you're paralyzed. You're getting pretty awesome, vivid dreams in REM sleep. I just got off this flight and I'm walking over to baggage claim and I'm standing there waiting for my luggage to come out. And eventually it does. And I go to grab it and it's super heavy. A lot heavier than I remember. And as we go towards the morning, you get more time in REMs. Maybe that's why when you wake up in the morning, most of the time, not all, you wake up from a dream. Upstairs in the brain, as we go into this dream state called REM sleep, some parts of your brain are up to 30% more active than when we're awake. And these include visual parts of the brain at the back, also movement-related parts of your brain, together with memory as well as emotion-related areas. But one part of your brain bucks this trend, the prefrontal cortex. It's the rational, logical, reasoning part Part of the brain. That part is shut down during dreaming. It's super heavy, a lot heavier than I thought it should be. So I open it up to see what's inside, and as I unzip the top and peek in, there is a mangled dead body inside my luggage. And I don't know how it got there. And I zip it up quickly, because I'm trying to remember, when did I kill somebody? And why did I put it in my luggage? So no wonder our dreams are so visual, emotional, memory-filled, but also why they're so bizarre and illogical and erratic. There are ways in which we interact in the world which can be very limited. And the dream brings to our attention the potential for a much more expansive experience of ourselves in the world. Then the psychological value of that is the dream is always trying to bring into greater awareness things that are outside the awareness of the dreamer. I finally get out of the airport and I make it to this bridge that's over a raging river. And I get to the top of the bridge and I just want to get rid of this thing. So I chuck it into the water with immediate regret, remembering, oh my God, my name, my number, probably my email is on this luggage, you know, in case I lose it. But then I woke up. <laughs> relieved that I had not committed a murder. I usually set aside somewhere between about an eight or an eight and a quarter hour sleep opportunity window. And of that, I usually sleep about seven and a half to seven hours and 45 minutes. You want to keep room on the darker side, the quieter side, and the cooler side. It's just not the time to see a scary movie. It's just not a time to watch the news. It's not a time for me and my wife to get together and say, hey, let's talk about our finances. I don't think I'll ever fall asleep, you know? So I think you've got to transition 
exhaustion both mentally and physically. Sleep is much more like trying to land a plane. It takes time to descend down onto the terra firma of good sleep at night.